We're getting ready for another busy season of street preservation in Bend. Our crews will be busy with potholes, repaving, and sealing both arterials and neighborhood streets. This summer we are in the uh, second year of our budget cycle. Uh, over this two-year budget cycle there's been a lot of efforts on our street preservation, street needs. Uh, the $5.2 million last year in street preservation. We have another big uh, season this summer, 2017, uh, $4.1 million. One of the biggest problems that the city has with street maintenance is that there is not a dedicated funding source allocated to streets. Unlike water or sewer, where people pay a water bill, they pay a sewer bill, that goes directly towards that. Quite frankly, we are looking sort of, uh, you know, as it were, looking in all corners uh, to try to find additional funding that can be put towards making our streets good again. So for this uh, summer construction season of 2017, uh, we've got around $2 million in overlay, grind and inlay projects and uh, we'll be able to treat about 22 lane miles with that in town uh, compared to the more cost-effective uh, treatments if the roads are at the right time for that treatment of chip seals and slurry seals. Uh, we got around $700,000 uh, going to slurry and chip seals, but that's going to touch about 60 lane miles. The council at our strategy session back in February made a commitment. We want to try and move the, it's called the PCI, the Pavement Condition Index, particularly on arterials and collectors, sort of the major streets. We want, to, we want to increase that. We want to reverse the trend of deteriorating streets. This summer, uh, when we prioritize where we're going for what treatment, really we're trying to, that street preservation philosophy. Right treatment, right time, so what, what conditions are the road uh, treatment are they ready for? Most of our focus uh, has been arterials collectors, but we this last few years we're also getting out into our local residential neighborhoods. This year, uh, Bond Wall Street, uh, we're going to be starting on the north end where Bond ties into Wall and and paving our way uh, south to Colorado. That's going to be a two-inch grind, two-inch overlay uh, paving project. And uh, it'll be night work to minimize the disruption to the businesses and, and the community. And we will only be grinding out what we can pave back that evening. This year we're going to be all, all over town. Uh, in the southwest uh, area of town, we're going to be off the Brookswood Lodgepole area. Middle of town, off of Reed Market, we're going to be in the Alderwood and Cherrywood area. Northeast area, we're going to be off the Purcell Boulevard, a few streets over in there. Some of our chip seals are also going to be over off the Kings that we're going to wrap that up from the project that we finished, uh, started last year, which is off of uh, the Kings, uh, Kings Road, Kings, uh, David and King Hezekiah. Uh, this year for our street preservation for our arterials and collectors roads are going to be a portion of Shevlin Park Road, a section of Portland Street and uh, uh, Newport Avenue, along with Neff, a section of Wilson and 15th Street. And uh, so we are treating those potholes as we can. We are going to do a temporary seasonal pothole crew again like we did last fall. And uh, th th those folks will start up in uh, April and uh, proactively go around the city of Bend and looking for and repairing potholes. Capital improvement projects are busy as well. Uh, Southeast Interceptor project, for example, in 27th Street. Uh, that will continue in construction this year. We're uh, also coordinating with those efforts so that at the end of the day, there's a new uh, street surface curb to curb. Uh, that project will also impact Neff Road this summer. I guess I'd just like to say that the, the, the council is absolutely committed to having street maintenance be one of our top priorities. And we really are looking across the city budget to find ways that we can allocate more money towards making our streets good again.